another planet! <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the weather on the planets in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Without Earth. This is Mercury. In the daytime, temperatures are 400 degrees Celsius. And in the night, it goes down to minus 184. All the air boiled off because of the intense heat, and there's no atmosphere. So if we were on Mercury, we'd all just suffocate it. Welcome to Venus. It has a 480 degrees Celsius average temperature with a thick atmosphere of 96% carbon dioxide, 3.2% nitrogen, and 0.8% of other chemicals. It has swirly clouds which have high albedo, and it is 92 times stronger with pressure than Earth. It has major volcanic volcanic activity, which has caused swirly clouds. It rains sulfuric acid, but the sulfuric acid evaporates before it can even touch the ground. And now, to Mars! This is Mars. Mars has an average temperature range of negative 130 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. It has four seasons, just like Earth. Only the seasons are twice as long as Earth, because the orbit is twice as long as Earth. The atmosphere in the spring and summer is clear, but in the fall and winter, it's cloudy over the poles. It has a sun strength of 36 to 52% of Earth, and the atmosphere itself is made up of 95% CO2, 2.7% nitrogen, 1.6% argon, and 0.7% other elements. The water vapor on the planet can freeze in the cool temperatures, causing frost and ice. And the dust storms can be over the entire planet, like this. Dust devil, dust devil, dust devil! This is Jupiter, a planet that radiates twice as much heat as it receives. It's streaked with light and dark clouds. There are many tourist attractions, such as the Great Red Spot, a cyclonic storm raging for 400 years with wind speeds up to 640 kilometers per hour! Turn the wind off! Sorry. Jeez. Anyways, this is Saturn. It has a 96% hydrogen and 4% helium atmosphere with a negative 80 degrees Celsius surface temperature and the closer you get to the core of the planet, the warmer it gets. It has 1% of the sun's strength than Earth and it's windy and a gaseous planet of 1600 km per hour winds. The tilt of the planet causes seasons and uneven temperatures a lot like Earth. It has a hexagonal shaped cloud by the North Pole that's been spinning for 10 years. This is Uranus. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Uranus. I can't hear you. Uranus. <laughs> Uranus has a temperature of negative 212 degrees Celsius, and it rolls on its orbit because it's tipped on its side. The atmospheric conditions stay the same for many years at a time. So 84 years on Uranus equals one Earth year. It changes seasons every few years, which causes storms. And that's Uranus. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Uranus. Welcome to Neptune, the windiest planet in all of the solar system. The winds here can reach up to 2,000 kilometers per hour, and don't turn on the wind machine. All these winds cause the great dark spot, which is quite like the dark spot on Saturn, which is a stormy vortex. White storm clouds are quite a common sight on the blue planet. All the blueness is caused by the methane in the atmosphere. That's Neptune! <laughs> all the planets that we have for today. Yep. As you can see, Earth's not the only planet that has its own weather. Oh yeah. And when traveling to outer space, you need to be prepared for some insane things. Like huge temperature ranges. Clouds and sulfuric rain. Prolonged seasons and raging winds. And stormy vortexes. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Guys, let's go to Uranus. <laughs> Brady. Brady. Our whole universe was in a hot dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Hey!